Hey there, it's Alicia, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create the perfect Fiverr images for your gigs. Now, Fiverr gig image sizing has just changed. Why is this important for you? Because if your images on your gigs are at the wrong size, it just doesn't look right. So I want you to revisit all your gigs, or if you're new to Fiverr, use this video and th these tips to create great gig images. Now. Let's head over here to Fiverr for just one second to see why this is important. So I'm on Fiverr right now and I see this person's gig image and the words are cut off. Look right there where it says, I know that should be a PR on the second line, but the word, but the PR is, is cut off for professional. So then we go down and we look at this gig image and so many of her words are cut off. I have no idea what she's saying. But if I kind of go to the center of the page and I look at this one, you can see that it's perfectly centered. You can read everything on that image and it looks much better. Okay, so now you know the why. Let's talk about Fiverr's gig image guidelines and how you can create an image with the perfect sizing. Now, we're going to talk about the guidelines, what you should and shouldn't do. But more importantly than that, I'm going to go right to Canva, the place where I um, create all my gig images, and I'm going to show you how to create a gig image. So let's get into it. Now, this content is from the Fiverr help desk. They have a whole section there on gig image guidelines. I pulled it from there to create this presentation for you. Now, on Fiverr, as if we go back here, like a lot of your success will depend on what you look like and how you're presenting yourself. So you want to make sure that your gig image stands out and then it, it is properly sized. So that is one of the really important things about Fiverr. It's like window shopping. As people are looking for what you offer, they're also judging you on your image, whether you like to admit it or not. Now, we use Canva. This is something I use almost every day in my business, so I highly recommend it. If you love me, you can sign up under my referral link, which is thedesigncode.com. That gives me a little bit of credit to pay for my Canva account. Um, but all you need is the free version to really do this. Now, a disclaimer here is that I do have the pro version. It is super cheap. I don't know, less than $12 a month. Um, I also pay for a bunch of my team members to have the pro version but you can do this on the free version. I highly recommend that you upgrade, but it's not required. All right, so some of the general guidelines. This is what we're gonna work off of, is the recommended image size is 1280 by 769 pixels. Now it goes on to talk about minimum and maximum, but why don't we just stay within the recommendation? Now, you're asking, okay, what do I do with this 1280 by 769? So you're going to go over to Canva. If you don't have a Canva account, um, again, it's the designtool.com. That is my uh, referral link for you. <laughs> so go over there to Canva, sign up for an account. And then right here on the front page, do you see where it says custom size right here? I want you to click on custom size. And when you do that, it's going to ask you for the height and the width. Now, what do the guidelines say? They say 1280 by 769. Now it is pixels in this drop down. You have a choice between pixels, inches, millimeters, and centimeters. Leave it on PX pixels. And what size are you putting there again? 1280 by 769. So 1280 by 769. You got it? And click create new design. Now it's going to give you the dimensions perfectly as they would fit right into Fiverr. So keep these dimensions right here. Now you can search templates and put a template in there, but I like to just start straight off from scratch. If you want a template, you can definitely put a template in. Now when you mouse over these different templates, you'll see that some of them say they're free. You see how it says free in the bottom right of the image? And some of them say pro, which is going to charge you a fee to use that. So if you're using this image right here, you're going to be paying a fee for it. Again, I am pro, so I am not paying a fee for it. But if you want to use one of these designs or these templates, you can, um, and you can definitely use them and then download it 
as well. So, all right, now that we know this is our dimensions, I am going to put myself here in this template doing transcription. So this is going to be an image for transcription services. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is now that I've got a template I wanna use, and you can totally start from blank, start from a template, doesn't matter to me. Um, for a lot of people, it's easier to start with a template. So I'm gonna show you that. You're going to click on this image and we're gonna get rid of that image right there. If you change your mind, there's an undo button at the top. You can always click the undo button and it will come right back. Do you see how that came back with the undo button? Now, this image is actually behind, we can see right here, a design. So I wanna make sure that I keep that in mind when I pick an image to move it backwards. And I'll show you that if it doesn't do it automatically. So we're gonna delete that. And then we're gonna go into my uploads where I already have a picture of myself. If you don't have a picture of yourself in uploads, you're gonna click on uploads and then upload a picture of yourself. You can see that I use this a lot because I have plenty of pictures in here. So I'm gonna pull out this picture of myself. We're gonna put it right here. And then I'm gonna click on position and click backwards. And I see that that little green has come over. I'm gonna click backwards again. All right, I see that um, that white has come over and that's it that I can click backwards on. But it's perfectly put me where that other image was in the back. Now, over here, we're gonna talk about the transcription service. So let's go ahead and add some text. Look at the panel over here where it says text. I click on the text and I'm gonna add a heading. Now, this heading is going to say transcription, tr transcription services, right? Now, I wanna make sure that my words are always in an area that is clear and easy to see. I hate it when people do this. That does not look good. <laughs> so, you know, put it on as much of a space that you have that is not covering your face or any other type of image where it might be hard to read or you feel like it's stacked on top of things. All right, and now I'm gonna do the, the types of transcription. So we, or so I'll just do I transcribe podcasts. If I could spell it right, that might help. Um, YouTube videos, Facebook lives, sermons, webinars, um, Zoom meetings, dot, 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 and so much more, right? And then I'm going to give myself five stars and then I'm going to say, I'm going to copy someone's testimonial. Alicia's service was more than amazing. She delivered ahead of time and the quality was true perfection, <laughs> right? So let's say someone said that about me and then I'm going to put Lorette M., <laughs> So, right, so now I'm looking at this, you know, I want to make it a little bit bigger, so I'm just going to pull it out, and then the word transcription service, I actually want this now to be smaller, let's just make it a little bit smaller, I could put it on two lines, but but right about there, um, if I wanted to do any bullet points, I could highlight these, you know, make it into a list, I like how that looks as well, so... The only thing I don't like is that this is still a little bit hard to read. So let me see if I can actually highlight that and make it bold. All right, now I can read it. Uh, I might pull the green back just a little bit to make it easier to read. Let me pull it back here as well and pull it down. And now I think that that is clear and easy to read and would make a great gig image for Fiverr. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on download and I'm going to download it either as a PNG or as a JPEG. And so if I picked JPEG, 
Um, I'm double checking the size. Look right here where you can double check it. 1280 by 769. Is that right? 1280 by 769. Yes. So we have kept the great dimensions. <laughs> where am I? Uh, yeah, we've kept the great dimensions there and we can download it. Now, one thing that I like to do is I like to make sure that the image always has the file name. It's saved as my keyword. So I'm going to save this as transcription. Um, and then now when I download that file, the file name is transcription. So here we go. And I'm going to download it. And you can see that it's downloading. It's a JPEG. And it is called transcription. So that's where we are with that. All right. So perfect. That's how you create your gig image. Not bad. Remember, Canva is a really fun tool to use. Practice makes perfect. So continue to practice with it and make sure your image is as clear as possible. Look at the one that I liked here. See, it was clear. It stood out, easy to see. So make sure that, and it, and it said a lot right there. I really believe there's a lot to to say for when I can scroll here and see, you know, what you have to offer by just reading it. All right. So, um, all right. So let's go back to the guidelines. When you're resizing images, you know, use preview, make sure that it looks good. I recommend that you don't resize your current image. If you have a current image that you would want to use, you're going to go back to Canva and let's, let me just have a blank page and you're going to upload that image in your upload section. And then you're going to drag it onto this image, just as an example, pull it out as much as you can. Uh, but let's say you can't pull it out too much before it starts to lose its, and look what I just did. Let me press undo and undo, undo again, undo again before it loses its dimensions, let's say. So I could do this and then I could do a different background. So maybe I want to make the background black so that, you know, it looks like it has a background on purpose or if most of my words are white, then it just looks like it, you know, then it just looks nice if that makes sense. So um, I don't recommend that you resize, but that you put your image uh, in Canva with the right dimensions on top of that correct dimensions template and then do it that way. So your images should be sharp and clear. Avoid things that are blurry, pixelated, squashed or stretched. Those never look good. So as an example, I guess if I took this image and I stretch, no, I guess it's not going to let me, you know, stretch it badly. Canva, thank God, helps us out with that. But, you know, you see images when they're squashed. You don't want your stuff to look squashed. Um, so you can upload three images per gig. And then if you have another, if you have like a design service or, you know, you have portfolio images, you'll see that the portfolio keeps putting more images and more images um, on your gig profile. But guess what? You upload three images, make those three count. So here's an example from a great account that's called Yes, I Can Do That. Here's what their first gig image looks like. Here's their second gig image. Here's their third gig image, right? So these are the ones that they want us to see as their sample. All right. Um... So make sure that the images you use, you are able to use them and you have the commercial rights to use them. Now, when you're in Canva, let me go back to Canva, you can go on to the photo section and then I can type in transcription, right? Let me type in transcription and then press enter. And now I'm going to get, let me delete my photo and I'm going to put an image here of someone typing, <laughs> let's say, or this girl here working on, actually that does not showcase transcription, but maybe this showcases it better. So I can use this image on Canva because these images that are here on Canva, you have, I'm, I'm clicking position and just doing the same things. So you can watch me 
you have the right to use them. But I can't just go to Google and get any image from Google and just use that image because I don't have the rights to use that image. So make sure that you're using either the images that you can get here in Canva or my three favorite sites to get images that are royalty free. The first one is called pexels.com. The next one is called pixabay.com. And the last one is called Unsplash, unsplash unsplash.com. You'll notice that some of these images are what gets pulled in through Canva. But if you want to just go here directly, let's go to Unsplash and type in transcription. Um, At first, it'll show you like items that you have to buy, premium images. You want to stay away from that and then just go down to their results. So here's the result for transcription. So also I want you to think when you're looking for images, don't just type in what you do, but like what type of image you're looking for. So I'm really looking for typing. Now you see I have gotten some better images when it comes to typing that I would use for my transcription service. So that is just a key right there. Remember when you're on these sites, they make their money by you clicking on the images that you have to buy and go go going to sign up at one of those sites to buy them. But all you want to do is use a free image, right? Royalty free image. So never go to Google and just use an image on Google. If you do that, a lot of times they find out the owner of that image might see it on your gig. They'll report you to Fiverr and your whole account can be taken down because of it. So make sure that you have the rights. When you are um, creating your image, don't use what they call clickbait, which would be something that you write on there that you're just trying to get people to click on it. Like when my mother hired me for transcription services, she was shocked when I, they're like, when you what? It doesn't finish. It's just not helpful. So don't use clickbait here. Relevancy. So your gig image must relate to, this is something Fiverr does. If it doesn't relate, then you can get taken down by Fiverr or contacted by Fiverr. So when I mean relate, if you have transcription services up, but you have an image of someone petting their dog, that doesn't relate. Have images that relate. That's all Fiverr is saying. Never share contact information. Don't put your website or your email address. You can put your Fiverr URL, but you can't put an, any outside way to contact you. Use as little text as possible. Um, this one, I'm not a real strong believer in because I think that for something like this, when it's clear and they can see what services you offer, you will... People will see it, understand. They don't even have to read your description because they know. But if I just put a whole lot of text on this image, it would be too much, too much. They're not going to read a paragraph. Short, sweet, bullet points, right? You get your your point across. Um, Make your gig stand out. (laughs) That goes without saying. Be trustworthy. If you like to use a photo of yourself, use it. Name your image file. So this is what I was just talking about. This is, I've never heard Fiverr talk about this. This is the first time, but it's so important to do this. So for example, this file was called transcription. What happens is when you upload that to Fiverr and Fiverr is reading everything about your gig, it says, okay, your image is called transcription. Transcription is in your keyword. It's in your title. It's in your description. This must be about transcription. Let's make sure that it ranks high for transcription. So name your image file. A lot of people just leave it at the default image file name, which has no value to getting better search results. Okay, obviously don't put anything objectionable on there and it must meet Fiverr's terms of service and community standards. Don't use any private information on your gig image. Um, Don't use logos without the owner's consent. Make sure that you're not overcrowding your gig image. If you choose to include text, make sure it's easy to read. Here are some do's and don'ts. So... Um, They say on the left-hand side, like that is a do social media manager 
really clear and concise. On the right hand side, you know, I think it would look good if it maybe was less and also just made to look a little bit better, especially with the colors. So using a picture of yourself, Fiverr does recommend it. So they just give you like, make sure it's visually clean and neat. Keep it real. Take a picture that is oriented uh, wide instead of like TikTok vertical or stories vertical. So here's an example. You see the one where you can see the person wide is good. The one that's like vertical with black on the background. You're like, what is that? (laughs) Showcase your work. So definitely showcase your samples. Now they say this one showcasing like that one image, your best logo right here is good. But the one with too many is not good. I, I disagree with Fiverr on this one, but maybe what I would do is show a little bit less because not all of these are great. So showcase your best work, not something that someone would see and say, eh, I don't know if that person can do this job. Also showcase your results. So if you're taking a picture from black and white to coloring it, show the before and the after. People love before and after. Zoom in on your details. So if you're going to show designing a website, maybe one thing that you could do is um, have part, you know, part of the website in image one, the middle part of the website, image two, the last part, image three, or showcase it where we can see more of the website, but also zoom in so we can see what it looks like. One of the things that you can do is also attach a PDF which people can see in your portfolio sample. So not all gigs have the option to do that. If yours does, take advantage of it. (laughs) Also, uh, using mock-ups. So Canva has mock-ups built right into it. So you can, you know, I love the the t-shirt markup. So if you want to show people like that you design logos, then one thing that you could do is... um, Put that logo on a mock-up to show how it would look in real life. So if it's an app for a phone, right, or an image that you would create for them for Instagram, you can show them what the image would look like. Just mock-ups are a good idea. So um, Fiverr has, I mean, Canva has a bunch of mock-ups. Just so you know, you can use that. Um, Embedded text. So text Look how the text is displayed here. I like it when the text is clean. And this text over here is really hard to read. The white on the light color that's on top of the mug, on top of his hand, on top of his laptop. Keep it clean. Keep it clean, people. Using text as an image. So um, you Fiverr just likes you to use as little text as possible, but I will tell you, use what you know will get somebody to read that really quickly and say, that's exactly what I want. Now, this one, I feel like on the right-hand side, they said the same thing twice in that first four words and then the sentence after that. It's the same thing. So don't repeat yourself so that you can use as little text as possible. Consider the contrast. Contrast is a really big thing. Look at the image on the with a check mark on it, the green check mark, right? You can see how that stands out. But the one on the right, I can't even read what that says. (laughs) Using stock images, high quality, you have the rights to use them. Um, Some examples, you know, if you want to show off books on the left-hand side, it's a clean clean image on the right. Who knows what that is? (laughs) Combining text, graphics, and photo. Just do it in a way that it's clean. Again, look at the one on with the green check mark as opposed to the one they're saying no to, the red check mark. Make sure you can read it. Um, And then again, just to capture the attention, look at how clean the image is with the green check mark, right? So in summary, the way that you present yourself impacts your potential business on Fiverr. Make the right impression, stand out, have the right message by creating a really nice gig image. Remember, we use Canva. Pick it up at thedesigntool.com.
Again, you can use the free version. I use Pro, so if you see me do something here that you might not be able to do, just keep in mind that I use the Pro version and I absolutely love it, wouldn't trade it for the world. I hope that this video was helpful to you. If you already have gigs up, come on, give your gig a fresh renewal especially if you haven't got orders in a long time and put up a new gig image. I also find from my students is that they say that when they redo their gig image, it like re and indexes in Fiverr in the background because now they're getting business that they hadn't gotten before. People are seeing it again. It helps business to pick up. So there's nothing wrong with refreshing your images. If you don't want to refresh the one that is image number one that they see first, let me just show you an example, like image number one, which for this person is this image right here, this first image, then you can, uh, his image number two is the same, but you know, image number two and three, you can change and leave image one um, alone. And that will still help Fiverr to say, huh, something's new with this service here. Let me check it out again. Let's re-index it. So you guys have some Really great suggestions here for your Fiverr gig images. Go out there, use them. Let me know how it worked for you. And if you have any questions, bye for now. <laughs>